Once upon a time, there was a princess named Alcestis, whose love for her husband was unwavering. In a deal made by Apollo with King Admetus, Alcestis volunteered to die in her husband's place to prolong his life. She embarked on a journey to the underworld where she prepared for her death and bid her family farewell. Her husband and children mourned her loss, unable to conceive living without her. Meanwhile, Hercules disguised himself as a wayfarer and visited Admetus' home, without anyone suspecting a thing. Upon learning of Alcestis' death, Hercules went to her tomb and challenged death to a wrestling match. After a grueling battle, Hercules overpowered death, which allowed Alcestis to return to the land of the living. When Admetus saw his wife safe and sound, he was overwhelmed with joy, and the household celebrated. Euripides's tragedy Alcestis expands on this tale, highlighting the sacrifices made by Alcestis and the power of Hercules' friendship. Indeed, the story of Alcestis teaches us about the intense devotion of a wife to her husband and the unbreakable bond of true friendship. Alcestis was a woman of exceptional beauty who drew attention from many suitors. However, she had made it clear that she would only marry the man who could accomplish a difficult task, yoking a lion and a boar to a chariot. Many tried, but no one succeeded until King Admetus came along. Admetus was not an ordinary man, for he had the help of Apollo, the god of the sun. With Apollo's guidance, Admetus was able to complete the task and win Alcestis' hand in marriage. They had a beautiful wedding, but tragedy struck soon after. A solemn offering to the goddess Artemis was missed, and as a result, an omen of an early death appeared, a bed full of coiled snakes. It wasn't long before Admetus' time came, and everyone was distraught. No one was willing to take his place, not even his own parents. But then, Alcestis stepped forward and offered to die in Admetus' place. It was a symbolic gesture of her undying love for him. Everyone was moved by her sacrifice, and Admetus was left with a heavy heart. However, Heracles, a great hero, came to Admetus' aid. He went into the underworld to retrieve Alcestis, fighting against Thanatos, the god of death. In the end, Heracles emerged victorious, and Alcestis was brought back from the dead. Admetus was overjoyed to see Alcestis again, and he thanked Heracles for his heroic rescue. From then on, Admetus and Alcestis lived a happy and peaceful life, grateful for each other's love and the kindness of Heracles. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.